Now, what do the Great Barrier Reef, the canals in Venice and the Galapagos Islands all have in common with the slate landscapes of northwest Wales? Well, the answer is UNESCO World Heritage Site status. The area, including six sites in Snowdonia, is now one of 32 UK sites on the prestigious list. Our Wales correspondent, Thomas Morgan, is there for us tonight. Thomas. This year's list included the tidal flats of Korea, the city of Nice in France and a wine region in Italy. But after two decades worth of work, these beautiful slate landscape behind me has been given the prestigious UNESCO World Heritage status, the fourth now in Wales. Now, six sites were part of the bid here in North West Wales, which included several quarries, mills, but also the railway that used to, in the heyday of the Industrial Revolution, take the slate down the mountains to Porthmadog and then shipped all over the world when it was a worldwide leader in slate exports. This jagged, beautiful, but rugged landscape, which stuns one driving through Gwynedd, really, has been given global recognition. Just a warning, my report does contain some flashing images. Adopted. 20 years in the making and recognition is finally here. The slate landscape that dominates parts of Snowdonia is now on a prestigious UNESCO World Heritage list that includes the Great Wall of China and Machu Picchu. And the pioneer for this bid was Dr David Gwynn. I felt there was something very wonderful here, almost magical. I'm naturally delighted to hear now that after 20 years our ambitions have been realised. Few of us can resist the sight of men digging a hole. It said Wales roofed the world in the 19th century, and in its heyday, the industry here employed close to 20,000. So why does Welsh slate have such a good name worldwide? Mm. Firstly, it's the best slate in the world. Um, it's one of the more denser slates. It's been proven on roofs for well over 200, 300 years. For former quarryman Pred Hughes, this area has always been special. This place could have gone to rack and ruin, forgotten about, you know, more decay than there already is. Um, so maybe this is a pathway to get it back up on its feet, have the recognition. It, it's just a fantastic news. Just as the Taj Mahal has for India and the pyramids for Egypt, the hope is that the recognition for the slate mines here in North Wales will also bring an economic boost to the area. For the locals in Blaine Festiniog, it's tourism, a key employer here, that will hopefully benefit from today's announcement. In order to get the tourists to stay in Blaine, we need the investment putting into Blaine to get businesses to help businesses get up and running. For 1,800 years, slate has been mined in this silvery, striking and rugged landscape. And now the stone that's roofed buildings across the globe, from Westminster Hall to Melbourne to Rio, has brought an accolade sought world over. Thomas Morgan, BBC News, Llanberis.